by three fifth grade classes, Ms. Kashigian, Mr. Rowe, and Mrs. Korbuski's fifth grade classes. And they worked really hard getting ready for this afternoon. Please give them your respect and a nice round of applause to begin. studying the way we affect our environment. We have adapted a musical play to bring you some of the important facts we have learned. Before we begin, here are a few facts that we found important to share with you. Did you know that recycling one can saves enough energy to power a TV for three hours? Recycling a pound of steel, steel saves enough energy to light up a 60 watt light bulb for 26 hours. Five plastic bottles recycled creates enough fiber to make one ski coat. It takes 400 plus years for a styrofoam cup to decompose, compared to something natural like an orange peel, which only takes six months. Now, I know what you're thinking. Recycling's for my parents, my teachers. Not true. The average person has the opportunity to recycle 25,000 cans each year. First of all, how do you brush your teeth at night? Yes, we're asking you about brushing your teeth. <coughs> you can make a difference. 75% of household water occurs in the bathroom. So make a difference. Shut off the water when you brush your teeth. Leaving it running wastes up to five gallons. And what about your classroom? Are you recycling? We throw, enough, throw away enough paper each year to build a 12-foot wall from Seattle to New York. Americans use 85 million pieces of paper yearly. That's 680 pounds per person. So instead of throwing away scrap paper, recycle it. It'll make a difference. And get creative. Instead of throwing away a banana peel, you can use it as moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Enjoy the show. And remember, reduce, reuse, reuse recycle. recycle. And keep it rocking. <laughs> Sweet 16th birthday party. I can't believe Carla walked out on us. 
I can't believe they have rotten tomatoes at birthday parties. I can't believe look at arms those kids have. Do they have talent? Sure. They're just missing something. Something to get them fired up. And now we've arranged for their van to break down. They'll have to spend the night camping in this forest. Carlo is the only one who knew how to fix the van. What are we going to do now? These trees are creepy. They're all natural and stuff. You don't think they have squirrels in here? They'll drag you off your sleep, stuff you in a tree, and then they eat you in winter. They've got a lot to learn. Oh, excuse us. We haven't introduced ourselves. I'm Beatrice. And I'm Penelope. The moderately good witches of the North. We used to be the good witches of the North, but we got demoted. Don't ask. But we're working on our rehabilitation. This band is our ticket back to full goodness. You, you just, just watch. watch. Well, if we're stuck here, maybe we should practice our songs. Don't get a water bottle away like that. Nobody's going to care. We're all alone. You sure? I thought I heard something. We need some new songs. And a new keyboard player. And some puppets. What for? I don't know. I've always wanted to pop it. <laughs> I'm going to get my guitar. I'll be right. What's that? No way. Those are giant squirrels. I know it. Run for your lawn. <laughs> They're plastic water bottles. That's right. They're talking plastic water bottles. Jesus Christ. It's impossible. Hey, you're the one who threw me away. You? You were a lot smaller then, and I only tossed out one of you. Where'd you find your friends? Oh, we're everywhere. Americans throw out more than 100 million plastic bottles each day. And less than a quarter of them get recycled. So, how can we move and talk? <laughs> I don't know. One minute we're just other inner pieces of trash, and here we are, talking plastic bottles. It's like a Disney nightmare. <coughs> the nightmare here is all this waste. Plastic, glass, aluminum, paper. We can all be made into wonderful new, th new things instead of filling up forests and landfills. Trashy cycle. Yeah, I've always wanted to come up as a park bench. You're crushing our dreams, man! <laughs> You're not the only one with feelings, you know. Visits. Like big plastic bottles? Seven more visits. It's very important to us. 
and to you and to the earth that you pay attention. <coughs> Those are some strange witches. I figure I'm just hallucinating, like the time I had pancakes at IHOP with Abraham Lincoln. Well, your hallucinations are about to come say hello to you. Look! Oh my god! Those are banana skins! Lenny, those are your banana skins come to life. No, it can't be not enchanted fruit. What's the matter? You don't think we have a peel? I just love that one. It never gets old. Yes, it does, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> It is a bit predictable, and you say it every five minutes. You've got something better? I mean, she's working with aluminum material here. Yeah, bananas don't have seeds, or a core, or a pit. Now there's some good puns with pits. Stop worrying about it, man. Mellow well. <laughs> yeah, let's go grab the guards to send a compo file for a couple weeks. So, what are we supposed to do while we're going to decompose? Just relax. Feel warm. Enjoy the company. Half of the trash that a family normally throws away can be composted along with us. What's better than sitting back, rotting away into organic material that helps things grow? You're right. That does have appeal. <laughs>
this is just some junk we found in the van. I've never seen you wear that. I keep her sentimental reasons. That's not how I want to breakfast with Abraham Lincoln. But wasn't that a hallucination? Yeah, but that doesn't make any of this real, does it? I've been wondering, why did you choose us? Why bring us here how to, to learn about how to help the environment? Because you're a rock band. You can spread the word. Kids will listen to you. <coughs> no one listens to us. And if they do, they fling stuff on us. It's true. We're down to our last gig. A lot of things can change after one night in an enchanted forest. Well, we're off. We gotta check in with our parole officer. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. The van is loaded with stuff we don't need or use. What can we do with it? We can take it to the doctor next town. Don't be ridiculous. Don't even think about that. Enchanted bicycles. Of course. It's the bikes we keep strapped to the back of the van. We haven't used them even once. Exactly. We have stuff we don't use. Give it to someone who will. <laughs> don't cram the landfills with stuff that other people may find useful. Donate it. One person's trash could be another person's treasure. <laughs> but I can't just give my ad away like that. It's got to be worth something. Oh, we have the perfect place for things like that. Oh, 
to focus on the more important issues. But you're not getting far as a band. Uh, I could give up drumming and become an organic mayonnaise farmer. You guys can't break up the band! That's not what we're trying to do here. What are you trying to do? Well, we got a bit of trouble and they lowered our good witch rating. To get it back, we have to do some community service for Mother Earth. What kind of drugs? Oh, uh, nothing really. We were just a little overzealous in our efforts to clean up Oz. What did you do? We, uh, recycled the Tin Man. No way! He was getting old and cranky hang for the scrap heap anyway. And we could get ten cents a pound for him. That's not bad. I mean, it's, it's made sense at the time, but we've learned from our mistake, and now we're helping you. Speaking of which, you've already had four visitations, so please make the most of those that remain. We're hatching on you. Let's see who's supposed to have seven visitations, but we lose how we act in this. Phase nine, Sherry the six. You work all this just kill me. I was never good at that. But we are Square Countenance. We're fish. And your point is. We're fish and accountants. We keep track of water statistics. We live in that stream over there and our lives spend a lot of clean water. But each year there's less of it. The average American uses 150 gallons of water each day. Half of it goes to landscaping. You should water early in the morning or at night to cut down on evaporation. 40% of it goes to water and to toilet showers, baths, and faucets. Take, sho take showers instead of baths. And shorter showers. Letting the water run while you brush your teeth wastes five gallons of water. I'm never brushing my teeth again. <coughs> That's not the point. The point is to be wise in your water use. And fix those leaks. Well, at least he made sense. 
Yeah, but I was the one who had to sit next to him on the bus ride to Albuquerque. <laughs> so why don't you just call yourselves the three green R's? Well, everyone thinks of the fourth green R, but no one thinks. We tried that, but everyone thought there was a fourth green R, but no one can agree on what it is. Everyone, if we did three green R's, everyone thought we were beating, fighting, and business. It was humiliating. I guess we don't have any choice, though. Yep, we're going to have to find that fourth green R.
let's get cracking on some new songs. That's a great idea. Thanks, Beatrice and Penelope. I think we're on our way. No, thank you. The environment needs all the help we can get. And because of you, we've been reinstated as officially good witches. Wait a minute, we still don't have a band. We don't have a keyboard player. If you're playing some muscle shot, we can help out. You play the keyboards? We've been known to tickle the ivories. Isn't that illegal in some states? <laughs> we've, we'd be honored to have two officially good witches in our green band. And this way, if they throw tomatoes at us, at least it will be organic. Thank you for coming. We hope you enjoyed the show.